Hello everybody, so Kyle Thero here, welcome you back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Today we're going to be taking some, I believe they're ventilation shafts? We're going to be taking them from the shipyard here from Portland, Oregon, and we're going to drive them all the way to Ontario, Oregon. So hopefully it's not too long of a drive. Unfortunately, and I do apologize for those of you that will be viewing on a device that has a darker background. It's going to have to be at night just because I ran out of... Uh, sleep cycles to try to get it in the daytime so unfortunately this run will probably be mostly at night it's about 1 a.m right now so maybe we'll get lucky and the sun will come up by the time we're getting there uh, we're going to be driving another modded vehicle that i downloaded uh thanks for thanks to actually watching uh def faviano's channel it's the uh freightliner cascadia this thing is pretty freaking sweet i do like the look of it it's very new like at least the way it looks. Um, as you can see, everything inside here looks pretty fancy. We even got our microwave back there with our beds and a little living quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire her up. Ooh, should be sounding good. Let's listen to the horn. Yep, got a good horn going there. Go ahead and turn our lights on for safety. And for the fact that it's night, of course. There's the lights right there. They're very cool. That's the high beams. So you got just the first parking and then full lights on it's pretty cool let's go ahead and release our parking brake we're gonna get going here in a sec I just want you to know that I'm already cringing at the drop-off of this thing because it's a double trailer and it is a very long double trailer so I do not know how well I'm gonna do with this I mean we already know that I'm pretty terrible with drop-offs as it is and then to have two trailers hooked together is probably not gonna go over too well be pulling out here right now from the shipyard I gotta be extra careful cuz I got a, a whole nother trailer on there that is scary to look at uh, mod wise uh, let's see this is the only truck that I've put in that's a uh, odd um, there are a little bit of like I want to say flaws but there's a few issues with this truck that I've noticed the little I've driven it so far like the um, there's nothing on the indi or on the dashboard to indicate that your indicator is on like I don't see anything that tells you that and then if you're not looking at one of the mirrors they tend to freeze for some reason I, I guess that's just a modded truck thing I've heard that before so I'm not too surprised so we'll just have to live with that out here this is gonna be god i'm gonna hate doing this i hate 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 driving long trailers i'm just no good at it and as you can see i'm like really having to cut for having the two here this is gonna be the fun part actually the fun part is gonna be when i end up in a road that has traffic in it right now it's been a little forgiving like look at that mirror dude i'm just i'm making my normal cut that I would and I'm fine but then there's a whole nother trailer I gotta account for oh man so back to mod wise I mean I just I added this truck I still have the Mac in here too I love the Mac anthem um, and I do love this truck too just from the way it looks I have not tried it yet but I have the Tesla truck that Jeff used a long time ago and I've always wanted to use it I just never had a chance or got around to putting it in my game and trying it out so that'll be uh, something that I'll have to see if it even works with this current version I don't know if it works with this version of the game let me go to the display there for miles per hour it's kind of hard to read that gauge cluster and again if I adjust the steering wheel a little bit it'd probably be easier but um yeah truck wise this is the only truck that's been added uh, environment wise there is um, there's a few of Jazzy Cat's uh, vehicle packs that I added in here for like sports cars classic cars and um, the motorcycles too so we might see a different array of those out on the road I, not every day you see a Conus egg but from the images I'm pretty sure that was one of the vehicles that I saw in there this is so scary. So, so scary. Oh, this is going to be the 
is gonna be awesome. Sorry, I gotta take two lanes. This is. Ooh. <laughs> I gotta use up that side too. What little I have. Oh man, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. This is just scary driving in a double trailer. This is my first time too. I think. Um, if it's not on the channel. Like, if I haven't driven a double trailer before on the channel, then I've never done it. I haven't done it off camera yet either, so. Nothing to be nervous about other than the fact that I've never done it before, I believe. <laughs> Astoria, I guess we're going this way. So, yeah, those are the few mods that I've added to the game. Uh, oh, what's this? Okay, yield right. Oh, we'll stick to the right. I think we got a police thing here, so we're going up this way. Uh, but I do plan on adding more stuff to the game as uh, time goes on. Just to enrich the environment a little bit more, I guess you could say. I, I've been looking for a traffic mod, but the ones that I've picked, like, I... They kind of given me a bad, like, they kind of gotten a bad rep for me. And the reason for that is because the uh, graphic mods that I have installed, it didn't really make sense the way that it worked. Like, I'd be out in the middle of nowhere and there would be a traffic jam at a four-way stop sign when normally you wouldn't even see a car. So it, it kind of just turned me off a little bit when I saw that. And I was like, eh, I'll just stick with... Uh, the uh, ATS's default ones. But I, I'll keep a lookout. And if you guys want, you can leave some suggestions in the comments below. I'll, I'll take a look at them and see. But that's kind of one of the things that turns me off about AI traffic mods is usually they just place a bunch of cars around you based on where you're at and not necessarily where you are on the map where it doesn't make too much sense. We're really moving here. We are really speeding our ass off. I gotta just let it slow itself down here. I mean, we're doing double. We're doing, yeah, we're doing way over. We're doing like 15 over in this area. Let's get down to about. There you go. Go to 55 and cruise control it from there. I really do like the look of this truck. It looks pretty nice, I must say. The interior of it's really nice. Like really comfortable looking. I think I'm in the wrong lane. I'm gonna switch lanes. Luckily I got those uh, fender mirrors so I can see. I had to break though. Oh, so uh, somebody had asked me before on a previous episode, oh, we're gonna get some frame droppage here. Um, why do I just change lanes without looking? I actually do look. It's just I don't have enough time usually to do it because I use a keyboard to like flip over like that to look in the mirror. So what I do is um, on my trucks now you may notice that I buy the, um, the fender slash hood mirrors and I use those kind of as my guide for uh, lane changes. The bigger mirrors on the doors are more or less for the um, for the uh, what's it? Called? Oh my goodness, we got another thing going on here. We gotta slow it down. I use those mirrors more for like uh, trailer guidance. Um, what are we doing here? I'm I'm not sure what's going on. I I got it. Yeah, he's honking. He's pissed. Somebody's let me out. Okay, thank you. I just kill that motorcycle rider. Uh. I think that was our exit. That's not good. Yeah, that was our exit. Damn it, we were just getting detoured left and right. I picked this route because I was hoping it wouldn't make the episode too long, but at this pace, like, that's our second detour. We're gonna end up having to end up having this episode be one of the longer ones again. Oh, speeding my ass off again here, too. Alright dude, if you're going this slow on a motorcycle, there's an issue there. 18 wheeler shouldn't be pick passing you on a motorcycle on the highway, I'm sorry. He 
need to let me zoom out my map here yeah it wants me to do a loop to get back so basically that detour is gonna set us back quite a ways that sucks that really does suck we're gonna go all the way down here and flip around back onto the highway again and then get onto that that interchange there that was blocked off Oh man, there's another traffic something stopped up here. What the hell? Oh man, I hope that's not there when we come back. I'm gonna be screwed. I am seriously gonna be screwed if that's still there when I come back around. Oh, I'm losing frames again. I need to get over. As my frames are just dropping to shit right now. This is the uh the con to the mods. For those of you wondering, it's eating up my frames right now. I hate to remove the car mods, but like the AI traffic mods, but I might have to do that, like the variety of vehicles. Because it's just those and this truck that have been added, and my frames are just getting eaten alive right now. Oh my god. I'm playing on Windows 98 right now. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's a cool car. And that might be the last time you guys see it because of uh, how this is killing my game right now. Oh, my God. It is so bad. I'm just blowing the intersection at this point just because I can't freaking see anything with all this stuttering oh, this is a great winning combo right here I got frame droppage I'm driving a two trailer truck for the first time and I'm getting rerouted all over the place in detours come on frames I'm hoping the frames are just dropping in this area where I'm at and I'm hoping they'll pick up here again get back out on the highway Seem to be doing better. Nope, jinxed it. We're gonna get over in this lane and try to force it. Hopefully that accident's not there still. I think I don't see, oh shit, no, I see lights. I see something, yep, I see the lights, damn it. No! I don't want to take another detour! <sighs> okay, well, I have to go this way now. <sighs> oh my god, it's just been detour after detour. I do not know how I'm going to get there. It's like they have the entire Ontario area blocked off. Oh, and my frames are just dying left and right from all this shit. I see another traffic block thing down there. Oh my god. I'm still in Portland. I haven't even left Portland yet. This is terrible. I'm literally doing circles around Portland, Oregon right now trying to get out of Portland. You'd think there was a virus outbreak or something. You got us all quarantined in here. Where is the traffic? I mean, I know it's... That's uh, behind me. Oh, these damn frames is going to be the end of me here. I'm going to definitely have to pull those cars out. They're just... If it's not the cars, it's this truck, one or the other. It's just... It is almost unplayable. I, if I didn't want to continue the recording just to get it done and out there for you guys to enjoy, I... Probably would have ended this already. Oh man. And the sun's coming up too. That's maybe not helping too. And I know I'm speeding my ass off right now, but we have to. Our let me look at the run here. We have to be there in in eight hours. I have seven hours until my next rest stop, and we are. Let me see here. We are seven hours away. 
because we've just been on detour after detour, so I'm going to race our ass off here a little bit. At least the sun's coming up now, so we can enjoy the game in the daylight. I really do enjoy what they do with the uh, organ here. Uh, hang on, I'm going to cheat it a little bit here and check the map, just because I don't need to go through detour after detour again. I'm pretty sure this is where I got detoured. Or maybe it was over here. It was over here, and I was trying to get to there. If I take this route instead, let me click down there. It's going to make me go around and do that again. Okay, so we're not doing that. We're stuck on this route for now. Hopefully, whatever accident was there is cleared up. If it's not, I, I don't know. I have no idea what we're going to do to get out of here. We'll just have to play it by ear here and see. Let's get over. Kind of racing our ass off compared to the other trucks. I'm gonna go ahead and just stay in the left lane. This truck's a little bit harder for me to drive too, not just because of the frame issue, but also because of the uh, it doesn't have an emblem on the front of it. Or, so it makes it or not emblem, but like a badge or whatever you want to call that. Like on the hood. It makes it a little bit harder for me to have something to aim at. Like I would usually put that wherever like the right uh, the passenger side line is and then I could use that as a guide but in this case I'm not able to oh, people are stopping oh my god it's the same thing it is the same thing it is oh man yep it's stuck here oh you're gonna pull out aren't you jeez man you know what we're gonna break the law let's see if we can break the law Oh no, we can't break the law. Let's see. Oh, we can. Alright, well, I hate to do this to you, but I gotta break the law. I know this isn't legit, but I am not doing that again and making you guys sit through that a second time. Weird. I don't know if they're life, life flighting somebody out of here or what, but we are driving our truck down this road, damn it. I'm getting out of Portland. I'm not doing another loop again. <laughs> Well, we're going to pretty much have this road to ourselves for now. <laughs> Hopefully there's not somebody killed or something on this road that we're taking. I mean, that'd be pretty bad to be driving by. Oh, what is that up there? Oh, that's the traffic queuing in, it looks like. Or maybe that's the accident? Oh my god, is that the accident? Yep, that's the accident. Oh man, okay. Ooh, that's a gnarly accident. That car is jacked up. We are going to have to do this. I, I have no choice. Absolutely no choice. We are so committed to this now. Looks like we got a FedEx truck that lost all of its packages out the side. I have no idea how I'm doing this right now. That is amazing driving for me. Sorry, I'm not trying to bump my own horn here, but that is something I normally could not have made through. <laughs> Oh, well, that's definitely why the road's closed. And they're probably looking at me like, what the hell are you doing over here? But uh, it is what it is. We have to get to our destination. And I'm not going to make you guys sit there and watch me uh, loop-de-loop -loop around Portland another time. Cruise control, we don't have to speed too badly here. Uh, whoops, don't need to get off here, and we can anyways. And quick lane change shouldn't matter because there shouldn't be anybody on this road since it's closed right now because of that accident. Oh, Discord is deciding to overlay into my main monitor now that's awesome thank you discord i must not have streamer mode on or something for it to pop up like that oh there's a uh, another message 
to it. I'll have to read that later. It's actually a pretty important section there. say I should start seeing some cars now. I'm on to another interchange here. Portland and then Dallas on that sign down there. So as of this recording, they have announced the next state that they will be adding to American Truck Simulator. For those of you that don't know, it is going to be, and spoiler alert here, if you don't want to know it, it's going to be Washington State, which is pretty cool. That pretty much finishes off the west coast for uh as far as states go for the united states anyways unless they want to continue up into canada or continue down into mexico which would be pretty cool too but um yeah they announced that they will be working or they're actually working on the washington state and depending on when this releases, it may or may not be out released already. But once that releases, we will definitely be driving in Washington to check that out. Because I got this really good feeling that it's going to be a lot like Oregon, like this. It's going to be very green with a lot of trees. That's, that's why I'm driving up here a lot lately. I, I really do enjoy being up here. Need the right lane because we're loaded. I don't know how you scale out a, a double trailer in a small thing like this. It just I guess you would just weigh one and then weigh the other. I don't know, but it doesn't feel like it weighs 66,000 pounds. Doesn't seem like a lot for all things considered. Oh, the frames again. Something is just killing my game. It has got to be those cars. I hate to remove them, but I mean, I downloaded them from an external site instead of my uh, usually going through uh, the workshop, so that might be the reason why, or I might not have installed them correctly. I don't know. It, it could be any number of things. Okay, guys, come on. Go, go, go. Okay, you're not going. I'm going to go. Oh, my God, I'm going to die, too. There's a truck coming. Please stop. Okay, thank you for slamming on the brakes. This guy's an idiot, so I had to do that. I do apologize. I didn't want to. I had to. That guy's an idiot. As my frames are still dropping here. Yeah, it must be like from me going, like when I start to slow down, it seems to have the frame droppage. Once I get up to speed again, like a freeway speed, it seems to start to chill out a little bit. I think what I'm going to do after this recording too is I'm going to hop in another truck and I'm going to do a, a short delivery in it up here in uh, Oregon. Oh, just all over the shoulder. And I'm going to see if it gets better. If it gets better, then I know it's this uh, Cascadia truck, which that'll suck because this is like one of the trucks that I really do like. It looks pretty, it looks pretty badass. And then also the mod, I didn't even go into it more. I, I just said like some of the flaws I had, like I saw with it. The it has a lot of great features with it though, um, especially the paint jobs. Oh my god, they they just the guy that made this thing just put like every single livery for every single freight company you can think of on it. There's like a there's oh man, there's like Swift, there's Walmart, there's uh, DVS, there's uh, England, like there's everything you could think of is already painted and put on this truck, and you can purchase any one of them. I went with the um, with the. I don't think you can try to do it with the flyby camera there. This is going to be dangerous. But I went with a just the the Cascadia Freightliner paint job just for the truck itself because I thought it looked pretty cool, and then. I thought it looked kind of weird if I was driving like a Swift truck with like a Walmart trailer or something. Although that probably is a thing regardless. Oh my god, the frames are dying again. And then there's a sports car on the on the other side of the highway. It, I, I'm pretty sure it's the cars. I saw that sports car and then all of a sudden my frames were just getting eat to shit. And then here's the classic car right here. It's like a old... Uh, old T-Bird, I'm going to assume. So, and there's a 
motorcycle. It, it might just be the, the uh, sports cars. I'll delete that out and then see if it gets any better with that. It doesn't kill my frames. Again, that's after I test another truck just to see if it's the Cascadia that's doing it, which again, like I said, that would suck if it does. Once I get to a, uh, a straight bit of road here, which looks like it's coming up soon, I'm going to take a screenshot real quick for my thumbnail, and then uh, I'll be right back with you guys after that. We are back. We're still on that road. And there's a cool looking view right there. There's a freight train coming through. As we're driving along with it, that is pretty badass. I, uh, I bought a, I've been over here to Ontario, Oregon already. I had to come over here to buy a, um, a garage. Looks like we're going to need our wipers. Now we're getting a little bit of rain here. But, uh, I w I've been over here before. I bought a garage so I can move a lot of trucks over there and uh, employees. So that way um, I would have another garage freed up to just purchase my own trucks that I would just drive around. Poking it. I'm doing five under the speed limit. And again, it is rainy conditions. Not exactly good conditions here. Let's kick it up a little bit more because it's starting to really rain its ass off. There we go. Let's see what kind of distance we have still. About four hours on our drive, and we have about four hours of rest until we need to rest too, so we race against the clock right now. The fact that this rain coming down as of this recording, it's been raining its ass off here in uh, Southern California, let me tell you. Uh, well, I'll just tell you guys right now, if you hear like, uh, like national emergency alarm go off, it's gonna be my cell phone. My um, I said this on my on one of my other series, but my phone, I keep it with me just in case of emergency or in case somebody needs to get a hold of me. And I just either put it on vibrate or silent. So uh, yeah, I hope there's space. But uh, so it's there so I can see it. But at the same time, the sound doesn't get picked up by my microphone. Well, when I was trying to record earlier today. Right now it's it's about midnight now my time uh, when I was trying to record earlier in the day I kept getting uh, national weather emergency alerts on my phone and it's just loud and obnoxious and there's no way to for me to turn it off like with the sound other than maybe disabling them from popping up on my phone but I rather have them on in case there is an actual emergency than not so the reason why it's still on but um, I had to go off about four or five times earlier today while I was recording. I was like, well, I got to scrap that one because it's got this big, loud, just blaring sound into it. But after I, I went back and I listened to it, it's not too bad for you guys. It's just really bad for me being that I'm sitting next to it. So I decided to record even with the chance of it going off regardless. And then if it does go off, then so be it. I mean... Now you guys will know why. Yeah. You guys are just like a little fast and not fast enough. A little fast and not fast enough. I know I'm probably driving faster than I should in the rain, but I need to get to my destination. Uh, Pendleton discovered. Cool. Another city in Oregon I haven't been to yet. Oh, the cop's got somebody pulled over over there. I better slow it down. I'm actually passing a cop right now. I didn't even notice that was the Crown Vic next to me. He's driving real slow right now, though. Oh, but, yeah, back to the 
national alert thing. The reason I'm getting that alert is because it's been raining a lot. Um, it's rained probably, it like two weeks ago it rained like four or five days straight in Southern California. That's like unheard of these days, but it happened. And then this week, it rained on Friday. Today is Saturday. It's rained most of today, if not all of today. And it's supposed to rain all of tomorrow and Monday too. So the reason it's popping up the emergency is because a few months back, we had all those fires going on in, uh, in Southern California and Northern California too. So it's given, it's making us more prone to, uh, just un like just unknown mudslides just coming out of nowhere because all the vegetation's burnt out and dry and dead. So naturally it's going to keep warning me when like there's a like there's a flood watch in effect and when they have an evacuation plan for an area which I, that reminds me i gotta text my dad my one of the areas that where my dad lives is actually one of the areas where it burned it was so close to his house that the um the oh i don't know what they're called um the little like bits of fire that like rise from the fire and like like fly around like the hot ash or whatever and then start a fire somewhere else he had one of those land in his front yard and then luckily he had his fire extinguisher because he was at home waiting to be evacuated they actually evacuated him but he uh he stayed there just to make sure that uh no looters were going into the house or anything but yeah he had one of those land in his front yard he had a tree he, he lives on a cul-de-sac and there's a water tower at the end of the cul-de-sac for the city and um there's a tree like just a it's like a tree there that's for decoration and whatnot it's a big pine tree that caught on fire too from the oh i think it's called an amber now that i'm thinking about it i think it's called amber i could be wrong though had one of those catch on fire from that so they had the Luckily, the fire department was there to put it out. He's actually really lucky. He, um, I mean, he lives on a cul-de-sac, but behind him is a park. And then the fire department's uh, fire station's right there. So, kind of like the last thing the fire department wants is their fire station to go up in flames. So, they will definitely defend that area as much as they can to make sure that uh, their station doesn't go up in flames, too. Because that's going to cause even more problems for them. So, he lucked out. He got very lucky from that, uh, they're calling it the, the fire that was near him, they call it the Holy Fire just because it happened in, uh, Holy Canyon or whatever. And now they're calling it the Holy Flood or the Holy Mudslide, something like that. It's just, just no pun intended, but geez, it seems like there is. Then also, I mentioned it, on, like I said, on another one of my uh, series, but if I cough just randomly out of nowhere, it's, uh, I do apologize for it if it like blows your ears out or anything or it's annoying. I've had this cough now for about four months, five months, just basically since the start of fall and through winter and hopefully by spring and summer it's gone, but I don't know. I just, I cannot shake it for the life of me. Like, I'll have, like, random cough outbreak or, like, a burst of coughing that I just can't control. And then other times it'll just be, like, a single cough just because it's annoying me. I don't know what it is. I've gone to the doctor, and the doctor tells me it's either the post-nasal drip or just allergies. There's, there's not much they can tell me and help me out with, it seems like. So, I just kind of... I, I kind of don't want to go and see him again for them to tell me that. I think the last time, it happened to me like a year or two ago too. And when I went to the doctor and they were like, oh yeah, it's because of post nasal drip. We're going to give you steroids so that way it dries you out. They gave me these steroids and my God, did they just, oh, they, I just did not have a good reaction to them. Like every other minute I was dying. I was like, oh my God, why do I have to take these? And I took all of them and it solved the problem. So, I mean, it did work. But at the cost of just feeling like complete and utter shit, I was like, nah, I don't think I want to do that anymore. Guy's really driving slow right here. Is that, it's like an old Plymouth maybe? Can't tell. It looked like that, but I don't know that era of cars as well as I probably should. 
should. Poking along regardless. Yeah, I really do like this area. Like all the trees, all this greenery, it's really nice to see. That's a really nice change. Oh, I'm starting to get tired. I'm hoping the reason I'm getting tired is because we're getting close too, so. I'm gonna see here. How long has this episode been going so far? It looks like about 36 minutes roughly. Not too bad. I mean, granted, it would have been an even longer episode if I did that loop de loop again. Luckily, I'll just say that they let me through, although they didn't really let me through. I just luckily got through. Uh, that was a pretty gnarly accident. That car was messed up, and that truck had a whole side of the trailer ripped out, too. Which, that's more common than you think. Like, cause I, I work in the warehouse industry where I deal with loading and unloading trucks all the time. I always hear about, like, one of our other sites where they drove a forklift onto a trailer, and the trailer was just not sturdy enough, and it just ripped the whole side of it off, and the forklift, like, fell through, and... Yeah, that's pretty dangerous. <laughs> Please pull in for vehicle inspection. Great. And there's a car in that lane. I'm gonna have to... Sorry, dude. I hate to cut you off, but I have got to get over. Apparently, I gotta go in for an another inspection in the same state. <sighs> we'll see what happens right now see if my frames drop again it might have just been the area where I was in being in Portland there but usually not that bad all right dude move your ass I'm trying to get in here too yep, still 66,000 pounds there we go here we go oh man look at this guy he was set up for a hay run and it looks like logs Oh no, it's another truck. Shit. I thought that was just one truck with double trailer in it too, just like me. Now look at this AI. Oh, that's an accident. Avoid, avoid. Holy shit. That was bad. Man, right in front of us. Like, I see the AI pull out like that, and they're fine. They make it. And then other times, like, they just sit there and they don't, and you have to wait forever. Like, they're just so cautious. And then apparently that guy was not so cautious and yeah, he just got rear-ended. <laughs> Luckily, uh, we were able to avoid it. Man, that was pretty bad. <laughs> There's Wayne's car from Wayne's World, just a different color. I know our customer expects delivery soon, it's just that I got hung up with the uh, detours. Let me see, how bad is it? They expect delivery in an hour and 51 minutes. I need to rest in an hour and basically an hour. And I have an hour and 28 minutes till I'm expected to be there. Jeez. We're cutting this one really close. But like I said, we've been driving at speeds probably not the safest in rainy conditions and we have been driving oh shit nice beamer we uh had to get around that detour too so it's just it's kind of kind of just the, been what it has been i didn't expect to do an entire loop around portland and then get set up to do a second one so Like I said, luckily we are out of there now. Hopefully there is not another detour somewhere up here. Because if there is, I am screwed on making this delivery on time. I feel bad. They probably, I mean, they are air vents. So it's not probably something that matters on getting wet. They probably should have put some tarps or something over them. To keep them from getting soaked in this rain. We got the twin cars here. There we go. That twin car is blocking both lanes. They weren't expecting a truck to be coming up on them at the maximum speed limit here. Yeah, we're gonna do 
five over right now. I don't think a cop will pull us over for five over. It's like I said, it's dangerous for these conditions, but we have got to get there. I didn't even see what time are we? Okay, so it looks like we're gonna arrive at about just just before 1 p.m. It looks like is what we're expected to at this pace. And again, we got this now. Great. Get around these guys. Oh, that is a sick Mustang. I like the louvers in the bag too. Looks like a uh, an old boss Mustang. Oh, our bus is gonna get out of our way. That was nice. Nice of him. Thank you for that, buddy. I do appreciate it. This truck's already moved out of the way. Well, here comes another exotic car, and it is not slowing me down right now. It's a Ferrari, it looks like, and it's not killing my frame, so it might not be that. I have no idea what was causing all that frame droppage over there. I haven't been getting it since I've been on the highway. I'm gonna get back up to speed here so I can get there in time. Oh, well, looks like we're gonna be turning off here in a second. And this is our exit. Gonna be one of those assholes. That's over. Oh, something else for the game too, and I keep failing to mention it. I, I well, not keep. I just didn't mention it in the last episode too. Uh, with the Mack truck. Oh man, I cut that way too early. There you go. Um, I have track IR now. So I need to be, I need to look into how to set it up. Once I get it set up, I'll be using track IR so I don't have to do the keyboard turning like this anymore. It'll be nice, I'll actually just move my head and I'll be able to look out my mirrors. That'll be pretty neat. I have it, it's just I haven't had a chance to set it up yet. Just haven't had the time. Right, it looks like it's right here. This is great, we are already here. I am going to cut way the hell over here. Is this where it's going? Steeler? Just swing out wide for this. I have no idea where they want this. Hope it's just a straight pull in there and then you're done. Um, let's see. Straight pull in or... Oh, okay. So it's where should I place it? They don't give you the option of I can do anything. Okay, cool. So it looks like I just got to get into the yard and pull it straight forward. Right past the fence there. Um... Oh, wait a second. Where the hell do I go? out of luck here. Do I have to go around the outside? I think I do. Okay. Yes, I know I'm getting tired. Thank you for telling me that. Uh, I'm taking time. Alright. Around here. Oh, don't stall it. Don't stall it. Okay, there we go. It's letting too much clutch out. Wait, is that where they want it? No. I thought it was inside the building, but I didn't... Oh, you know what? No, I think I see a door now. Yeah, okay. There's a door that's open. Let's just swing really far out here so we can get around all this crap. Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. And it looks like they just want us to pull it straight forward. 
this is going to be a nightmare. Sounds make me think I'm hitting some shit and not just ambient noises. We can kill this now. There you go. Oh, please be good if it's not. Oh, okay, that's. Ooh, the frame drop it again. Alright, let's go ahead and uncouple the trailer here. Or trailers got lucky and got it on the first shot. Oh, the frames are just getting eat to shit. <laughs> All right, so we went 561 miles. Uh, we earned sixteen thousand dollars from that. Then we had three, almost four thousand dollars for proficiency bonus. Uh, we got another thousand dollar or fifteen hundred dollar bonus for long distance. And then another 3,000 bonus for urgent delivery bonus because we did drive like a piece of shit to get here. And to get here on time. But uh, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of American Truck Simulator. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. If you are new to my channel, uh, please hit that subscribe button down below. I would greatly appreciate it as it helps me out. As well as it keeps you informed on the latest and greatest content that I release. Uh, if you're not new to my channel and you enjoyed this episode, but don't feel like leaving a uh, comment down below, you can simply hit that like button to let me know as well that you enjoyed it. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and I will see you on another episode of American Truck Simulator. Take care.